We saw another great moment for uh, Joe Pavelski as he just continues to do the unthinkable. That's Aging beautiful. like a fine <laughs> wine, plays in his 1300th <laughs> NHL game, becoming only the seventh U.S. born player to skate in that many games. And the Stars ended up getting the win 2 to 1 over the Sabres. Jake Ottinger, fellow American, 47. Ooh, days. Wee, My they what? They what? Um, and congrats again to Pavs, former teammate of yours, and I know, you, one of the Pavs. best guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw your post. <laughs> F you, Pavs. Honestly. Here I am scraping 700 together, and this guy's just cruising past 1300 with a piano on his back. Yeah, I was going to say, not bad for a guy that can't skate. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I God, mean that with all the, love the lo 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 all the love on, on the earth He's here. So I, mean, smart. I absolutely love that guy, yeah. but that's what tells you. So his smart. hockey IQ, this game is sped up so quickly during his tenure in the NHL, and he's been able to change his games, keep up with the speed, move the puck a little quicker, but when it comes down to it, he is still the same old Joe Pavelski in front of that net. Yeah, he works. Just so intelligent. He works so hard. I mean, we when I started in San Jose, and, you know, I wish now I would have kind of followed that a little bit more, <laughs> but we they had to put, like, a cap of when we could go on the ice early because, you know, going on ice early for practice, a lot of guys hate it because yeah. you chop up the ice. And he would go, like, 30 minutes before taking tips, and they almost had to, they had to cap him. At like, you can't go on until 15 <laughs> yeah. minutes before practice because he would just take in tips, take in shots. Yeah. yeah. Just trying out all his sticks, and he did that consistently, and, I mean, there's a reason why. He's like a mad scientist, just the way he treats his body and yeah. the way he treats the game and so cerebral that, like, I mean, and just such a great guy and a great human being. And yeah. it's just like Absolutely love root it. for him. So I'm, but I'm always like, F you, Paps. Yeah. <laughs> I want him to get the 1500. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Let's I, want, I, I, I love the guy. But F yeah. you. But screw off. It's rough. <laughs> I remember my first year here covering the cup final in San Jose as 15-16. And after practice, even we're talking the dog is like into June, right? The marathon, the finish line's in sight, and he's still doing that. Still out there after practice That's, tipping pockets. Oh, like, he just, the true greats are oh, never, yeah. ever satisfied with yes. their craft. Yeah. Even though he's, well... You know, Cicero Livarelli might have something to say about being the best tipper ever, but he's right up there in that conversation, yeah. which is absolutely awesome. He's kind yeah. of revolutionized tipping in the way he does that that skating tip yep. and coming towards the puck instead of Timing is instead perfect. of holding yep. the spot, which you know the Holmstrom, the Cicero is like. But he would really, he's so amazing at coming into the puck yeah. and. Yep. Incredible. Good on you, Pavs. Congrats on the milestone. Give us a call. Come on, players only. Yeah, and, let's uh, go. Yeah. That players only bump Are you here. Too good for us. <laughs> <laughs>